Hey, dear Cancer, let's go ahead and take a beautiful deep breath in, raising our vibration. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much for allowing me to channel. Answer spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cancer, we're going to go through uh, your blocks. We're asking Spirit to show you the blocks that you have in your relationship life. And then we're going to go from there. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Cancer, you know, there's a hierarchy, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a, a question coming into October, I feel, um, about your relationship and marriage and the status. And I feel like you have this inner conversation and this dialogue with spirit that you know, are you afraid of staying committed? Are you afraid to really be with someone that is outside of your spiritual belief, your religious umbrella? And are you going to move? Which direction are you going to move in, rather? But I also feel like that block also is, can we just pray together? And I feel like some of you don't have that block. I feel like this is really the, what's uniting you, what's bringing you together. And you're fearless in being able to take that action forward and make sure that you two are equally yoked. Whether you're single or coupled up, I do feel like that's very, very important to you because it also leads to your need for togetherness in your family and I feel very strongly that you feel very strongly that if you're if the if you're if your partner or if the candidate is not family oriented and you two cannot go to God together, like you can't pray together, that that's, that's a problem for you. And I feel like definitely whether you're praying together or not, whether you've never prayed together or not, that's something that Spirit is saying, you know, move fearlessly towards making that happen for sure. And just saying that, that is, that's a requirement that you have, that you two pray together. And just to respect the other person's praying style <clears throat> excuse me and allowing them to show up in that way Ooh! and being able to really appreciate the different praying styles that you guys have so with the spirit of the gorilla take the time to listen compassionately to those you love especially your family members and the spirit of the panda, create a sacred space for yourself and your home and or your place of work. And this really goes hand in hand with creating an ancestral altar. Around mid-month, this is such strong energy. It's your energy. The new moon is in your placement in the stars. And that's a new beginning in family. And how you show your ancestral veneration and how you pray and how you worship our creator and 
how free you are to do that and to move around your space, your abode, your your home, your room, your bedroom, um, and not feel judged or criticized, and to really be fearless in the way that you move throughout your personal space, but still taking um, your partner's feelings into consideration for sure. And if you are single, to certainly um, listen and consider their, their feelings, you know, and to really just come together. And we all can do that through spirituality, through our connection with the Most High. Thank you so much. But certainly this is reminding you that even though, you know, you're very much all about family, you've got to have personal space and you've got to have that in your home and it, it really has to be respected thank you so much thank you so much so don't feel guilty about it but I certainly feel like spirit ooh, is also telling you to communicate that because you've got to have that balance in your relationship life so you've got karma here also with five. It's going to happen, this energy that is really transforming your foundation with the root chakra and your affirmation here is this. I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. So you've got everything within your home life, within yourself. You've got everything within your love life, within yourself. And when you've got that sacred space, you're able to really go back in and meditate and pray and commune with the Most High and have that balance within yourself. Your connection with the Most High is always going to help you communicate effectively with your partner. It's always going to help you get what you deserve and what you desire out of your relationship life and it's always going to help you move fearlessly forward while you're doing the work while you are looking deeper within yourself you're able to listen to the silence and do the work that spirit is telling you to do Okay, so reach beyond the surface of your feelings in the situation that's on your soul right now in your love life. Spirit is encouraging you to be vulnerable to the unknown in what comes to you as your spiritual guidance because healing energy is needed now to actually move forward. So don't be afraid to face your skeletons and leave the baggage behind. And you deserve true love and happiness of mind, body, and soul, dear Cancer. So let me give you just the energy and the placement of the stars for you so that you'll have this foundation, especially with your root chakra coming into your spiritual guidance. And you'll have the best footing forward, if you will. So I really feel strongly that you come into October with this awareness of status seeking. Is it that you want a relationship? Is it that you want to transform your relationship, your marriage, your connection with another, um, and that longevity? There's legacy here. There is a need to really put down roots and um, really build up together. And where you are evaluating that and making those tough decisions and coming to your truth, your personal truth, I feel like you're able to apply that, give or take 72 hours before and certainly thereafter the 16th because that new moon energy is behind the closed doors. It's in your home. It's in your sacred space. It's in your family life. It's in your ability to self-love and your ability to commune and pray and worship God. And, um, and it is also the roots. It's your the land 
that you um, live on. It's in the dorm. It's in your, your apartment, your home. And that ability to just begin anew behind those closed doors. And at the end of the, the month for you, there's a development and, you know, friends could become lovers. There's a development in how you're going to really innovate and transform your relationship life and really be there to compromise um, and really kind of acquiesce and play placate when you need to because you feel like I really truly, truly believe you're like, you know what, this battle isn't mine. And I feel like that's really healthy for you to really detach and separate and really focus on self this month. Well, dear Cancer, I pray that this has helped you, give you some type of value in your relationship life this month. And I certainly am here for you. If I can help you, please click the links down below. And thank you so much for letting me channel your spiritual guidance. And just remember that you certainly do deserve the very best. And having that connection with Source, no matter whether, no matter what, if it's a religious umbrella that you focus on, or if it's the vastness of spirituality, you have a very personal, very real connection with Source. And you have everything you need within you. And just let spirit love on you in your toughest moments and let that be your base to go forward and really enjoy the type of love from another that you truly deserve. Take great care and I look forward to speaking with you very soon.